Hello, this is the voice of Dylan Flynn. Hi, this is the voice of Trevor Ickrath. And you're listening to Wordle with Friends, the show where two friends do the Wordle. Happy Easter. Christ is risen and the Easter bunny has come to town. I went to Catholic school for 12 whole years of my life and I couldn't tell you what those two things have to do with each other. But uh, regardless, happy holiday if you celebrate. There's so little quality control over the Easter Bunny side of this holiday. Like, you know that you know that song that goes, uh, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hoppity yeah. Easter. So we're, we're, now Peter Cottontail just gets to be involved, <laughs> too? I really don't think. So we need, like, people need to sit down, get it all ironed out, figure out the Easter lore, what they want to be a part of it, what they don't want to be a part of the canon, and just, you know... Make a tighter, more well-constructed holiday. I feel like if we get the guys who did Christmas on it, if we could pull them in for just like a quick consulting session. Oh, you know, they did a bang-up job of Christmas. You can't argue with Christmas. Everybody knows what that holiday is about. You know, Easter, mm-hmm. people are just scratching their heads over here. Like, is the, is the bunny the one laying the eggs? I really have no idea what's going on here. Then you got the Cadbury bunny, too. I mean, <sighs> there's just too many wrinkles. Don't even get me started. Let's Speaking of getting started, though, how about we tackle this five-letter word? That's a great idea. Sunday, April 17th, 2022, and Trevor and I are about to attempt to solve Wordle number 302. So this is your warning to turn back now if you've not yet done today's puzzle, as there will be spoilers ahead. Am I going first today, or is it your turn? It's my turn. All right. That's nice. You already said my opening word today. Oh, wow. Which, if it turns out to be the word. I wonder if it was going to be the same word that I was going to play if it was uh, my turn to go first. Let's see. I have one yellow letter for playing the holiday-appropriate word, risen. Risen, okay. That wasn't what I was going to go with. Should I Should I go with my word? Why not? I guess it fits. Uh, you you got one yellow letter for Risen? Yeah, Risen, I felt like it was a good play, too, because that's so many commons, you know? That's true. Mine doesn't have any commons, and it, and it has a double letter, but I'm still going to play it. Okay. Because I think it might just be the word today, honestly. Maybe it is. Oh, it is not. I got five gray letters from playing the word bunny. B-U-N-N-Y. All right. So uh, apparently Josh Wardle's not trying to be too festive with the word today. I guess not. Presuming he is the one who selects it at the beginning of every, at the end of every prior day, I guess is how you would do it. New York Times sends him a text and they're like, Josh, word for tomorrow? And he goes, uh, bunny. (laughs) (laughs) What about like, no, that's not how you spell that, Dylan. Um, this doesn't feel like it's a great play. But I'm kind of having a hard time. You got a you got a few rounds to burn here. All right, fine, fine. What if I was just that terse for the rest of the episode, like we were traveling and I didn't want to have a fight, but yeah. I, but I was still too angry. Yeah, okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna hit enter and see what happens. Uh, I just played the word emote. Okay, E M O T E. I have two green letters now. That's interesting. Hmm. And no yellows. No yellows. I turned that yellow into a green just as Jesus did with water. And uh, what did he, what was the end product there? Nestle Quick? <sighs> Something like that. You played emote and that has two E's in it. I can only presume that you're, that the E in resin was yellow. And now I don't know which one of those turned green. Could be either of them. Wait, you said you got two greens? I got two greens. It could be both of them. Could be both of them. <sighs> what are you doing to me over here, Dylan? I don't know, man. All right. I don't know if this is just the nature of going second, which I tend to prefer, but I feel like I'm a real step behind today. Sometimes going second makes it feel like you're coattail riding, and sometimes mm-hmm. it makes you feel like you're one step ahead. I'm trying. I feel like I'm trying to catch up. I'm not going to play it because it has a letter that we've ruled out, but I wonder if email is on the list. If I know anything about Josh Wardle's girlfriend, email is absolutely on the list. Mm-hmm. A is still on the table. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. We've not ruled out A. Well, I got a word. All right. I don't know if it's going to work. Okay. It has two green letters in common with yours. Okay. I'm really taking a bet on where this E is, though. Well. Oh, I I did get where the E is right, actually. I played the word plate, and I got one green letter and three yellow letters. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So I learned quite a bit. I have a word that fits, I think. I think everything we know. I'm going to play this. Okay. And let's see. Maybe it's the maybe it's the win. 
No, it is not the win. It is not the win. I played I played the word amaze, A M A Z E. Mm. Uh, I have three green letters. Three green letters. Oh wait, did amaze. you play what did you get for plate? I got three yellow letters. Oh, I'm so, so stupid. Yeah, you put that A in the same place. I, I'm so stupid. Mm-hmm. I definitely have the solve now. I now know what the word is. Okay. There's no way that Z was green, I feel like. Green Zs are not a common thing. No. Trevor, did you know that the Thursday before Easter is called Maundy Thursday? I did not know that. That's when Jesus had the Last Supper. I know about Palm Saturday. I know about Good Friday. I know about Fat Tuesday. Don't forget Thursday Thursday. Mm. Or Taco Tuesday, another classic Catholic holiday. Yeah, or Word of Wannabe Wednesday. <laughs> I mean, some people have been observing it less lately, but it's still part of the Pantheon. It's an easy one to forget. This is tough. I'm not seeing the answer here. This You're in position to win right now, and I feel like we've really narrowed the field. I know. I'm still not seeing it, though, for some reason. It just can't be the Z, okay? Because the only the only vowels that I have to put in that in that third spot, if it's the Z, would be I, which is like blank mys. I, I'm not seeing that. Or O, blank mos. And I just I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, both of those vowels are ruled out by risen and emote. Oh my gosh, you're completely right. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. Okay, so it's got it's got the the. I'm really lost here. What if I just don't know this word? I feel that you absolutely know this word. I mean, it's not like okay, it's not like an everyday word, but it's you know pretty common. I's and O's are off the table, right? We know it's not an A in that third spot. Let's just let's just level with with each other. We know that when you played plate, uh, you're you got a P and an L and an A. They were all yellow and a green E. Oh damn! I completely forgot about that L. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay i forgot about the p too oh god all my clues are staring at me in the same all my clues are staring at me in the face trevor i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you yeah um okay oh wow that you know what if i hadn't gotten those clues i would have never seen this <laughs> some would argue that if you had you still never would have seen it <laughs> no i got five green letters great <laughs> Congratulations on your hard-fought round three win. Here I go for my round four solve. The word today was ample. Yeah. Not unlike those fishes and loaves that special day in that park, remember? Or the amount of help that I needed to get to the solution. (laughs) (laughs) Couldn't see it today. If you need help, you can write to us at wordlefriends at gmail.com. Or look us up on Twitter at Wordle Friends or TikTok at Wordle Friends. Or you could look up the visually enhanced version of the show on YouTube by looking up uh, Wordle with Friends. And while you're looking stuff up, go check out the podcast version of the show, the, the OG version, and leave us a kind review and a five-star rating. Thank you. I was recently uh, talking to my mother who watches this show every day, and, and, and her quote was, I could never imagine just listening to this show. It would be so confusing. <laughs> It's not that bad. I like I like the way it works as an audio medium. It requires you to use your imagination, you know, rotating that six row wordle grid in your head three hundred sixty degrees. But if you wanted to know who hosted this show, you don't have to use your imagination because we're about to tell you. Hey, I've been Dylan Flynn. I've been Trevor Ickrath. And we'll see you back here tomorrow on the show where a friend is a five letter word. This has been a production of The Lighthouse Keepers Company. Culture Illuminated.